bless you, you will take your next birth in the womb of Devaki and you will be killed by your father. And who is their father? Kalanimi. Kalanimi took his next birth as Kamsa. And as Kamsa, he came and he killed these six children of Devaki, one after another. Some points to be understood about this. How is it these Sankarbas who have material bodies, how can they enter into the womb of Devaki? Because the womb of Devaki is completely pure and transcendental. Devaki is not the ordinary woman. She's a very, very great soul. So how could these six material souls enter into the womb of Devaki? So it is explained that just like at the time of the pralaya, at the time of the devastation, what happens to all the souls? All the souls enter into Mahavishnu. Is Mahavishnu touched by the souls? We are, you know, we're all material soul, materialistic people. We enter into the womb of Mahavishnu. We enter into the body of Mahavishnu. But Mahavishnu is not touched by so many souls entering into his body. Similarly, the Sadgarbhas, although they were conditioned souls, material souls, demigods who committed some of it, they did not contaminate, they did not affect the womb of Devaki. That's one point. Now, who are these Sadgarbhas? What do they, who are they representing? It is explained that these Sadgarbhas, they represent the sense objects, the five sense objects and the mind. Five sense objects means sense of touch, sight, smell, hearing and tasting, along with the mind. So this is the Sadgarbhas. They represent these sense objects which we desire to enjoy. So Kamsa killing the Sadgarbhas represents the end of material sense enjoyment. And with the death of the sense objects, then pure devotional service can take place. So after the death of the Sadgarbhas, then Lord, Brahm, Lord Balaram enters into the womb of Devaki. Now this was one of the questions asked by Maharaj Parikshit to Sukadeva Goswami. He wanted to understand how is it Lord Balaram could enter into the womb of Devaki but take birth from the womb of Rohini. So it is explained how Lord Balaram comes into the womb of Devaki and he comes, Lord Balaram is always in Dasharas, he likes to serve Lord Krishna and he enters into the womb of Devaki and makes all arrangements for the appearance of Lord Krishna coming there. And he even leaves Anantashesha there in the form of a bed just for the comfort of Lord Krishna when he will enter into the womb of Devaki. It was arranged Yoga Maya would transfer Lord Balaram from the womb of Devaki into the womb of Rohini. Rohini was over in the home of Nanda Maharaj for her safety. Lord Balaram is transferred over there. And after Lord Balaram leaves there, then Lord Krishna appears in the womb of Devaki. And with the appearance of Lord Krishna in the womb of, the, of Devaki, then all the demigods, they come there to the prison house of Kamsa and they offer prayers 
and they glorify the Lord waiting for the appearance of the Supreme Lord. We should understand this Lord Krishna who is appearing from the womb of De Devaki is Vasudev Krishna. He appears in his forearm form. With the birth of Krishna, he appears fully dressed and decorated with ornaments and jewels. This is Vasudev Krishna. And Vasudev and Devaki, they offer their prayers to Lord Krishna. They have Vatsalya Ras to Lord Krishna, but they don't have the Vatsalya Ras in the same mood as Krishna's eternal mother and father, who are Nanda Maharaj and Mother Yashoda. So while Krishna, Lord Krishna, takes his birth in the prison house of Kamsa, at the same time, another child is born over in the home of Nanda Maharaj, in the womb of Yashoda. And this is Shamsundar Krishna. Actually, two, two children are born from the womb of Yashoda. There is a girl and there is the boy. The boy is Shamsundar Krishna. And the girl is Yogamaya. So with the appearance of Lord Krishna in the prison house of Kamsa, Kamsa and Devaki, uh, Vasudev and Devaki, after offering their prayers, then they requested Lord Krishna to assume a form like a normal child. Vasudev and Devaki understood that the child who had appeared to them was the Supreme Lord. Of course, they had worshipped the Lord to come as their child. And they'd been given the benediction that the Lord would come as their child on three occasions. First, as Prishni and Sutapa, the Lord came as Prishni Garba. Then, in the second time, Prishni and Sutapa become Kashyapa and Aditi, and the Lord comes as Vamanadev. And now, as Vasudev and Devaki, we have Lord Krishna. However, Vasudev and Devaki, while they can give birth to the Lord, they're not able to enjoy the childhood pastimes of Lord Krishna. The childhood pastimes of Krishna are only for Nanda Maharaj and Mother Yashoda. They're the ones who are always Krishna's mother and father. So Vasudev has to go out of the prison house of Kamsa take the child Krishna across the Yamuna and exchange him for the girl who was born to Yashoda. Then Vasudev brings back that girl to the prison house of Kamsa. And then when Kamsa hears that the child is born, he comes, the eighth child of Devaki is born, he comes and when he tries to smash the child, the child rises up in the air and reveals her form as a demigod. So Kamsa was shocked. It was a certainly uh, unexpected. He was thinking he was just going to kill the child as he killed the earlier children. Of course, the seventh child he couldn't kill because the Lord Balaram trans was transferred, so people thought Devaki had had a miscarriage. But then with the eighth child, Kamsa was also unsuccessful, and he saw it's a girl. Now, Kamsa at one point, he enlisted all of his men to go and kill all the young children who'd been born around that area of Braja, Mathura, that they should go everywhere and kill all the young children. But they were only to kill the boys, not the girls. 
the girls were to be taken prisoners, they were to be taken to be servants. This was Kamsa's plan. So Vasudev and Devaki, they were left in the prison house of Kamsa and their child is over in Gokula, in the home of Nanda Maharaj, Mother Yashoda. The Vasudev form of Krishna enters into the Shamsundar form of Krishna. They become one. The Shamsundar form of Krishna is the original form of Krishna and everything comes from that form. So the forearm form of Krishna, that comes from the original two-arm form of Shamsundar Krishna. Vasudev and Devaki, they could not even have the pleasure of seeing Krishna drink the milk from the breast of Devaki because Krishna was taken straight from his birth. He was brought over to the home of Nanda and Yashoda. So, so there Krishna and Balaram can enjoy their pastimes together. And of course they have many wonderful pastimes together. First of all playing in the courtyard of Nanda Maharaj and Mother Yashoda, stealing the butter and breaking the pots of butter, and feeding the monkeys, all kinds of tricks. And then as they grow up, then they go, they're sent to the forest of Vrindavan, along with all the cowherd boys. And all the cowherd boys, they're all Krishna's great devotees. They've all taken birth there just to take part in these pastimes with Lord Krishna. And every day they go into the forest. And in the morning, Lord Krishna, after taking his bath, he will call all the cowherd boys to come and they will all assemble together and they will go into the forest with the calves. And of course, so many different demons would come and try to kill Krishna and try to, try to disturb the pastimes of Lord Krishna and Lord Balaram. This was all the pleasure excursion of Lord Krishna dealing with these different demons who are all agents of Kamsa sent to k try to kill Krishna. From his very birth, of course, the very first demon who came was Putana. And Putana is a very powerful demon and these demons have all the yoga cities, they can change their form. So it is said that Putana, could, with, she took the form of a bird and she flew into, Vra, into Braja. Then she transformed herself into the very beautiful woman, dressed like a gopi. Everyone saw her, was attracted and fascinated. So attractive, so beautiful. Big firm breasts and a slim waist, beautiful features. All the men of Goku, all the cowherd men, they were all attracted by her. Who is this woman? Where did she come from? And Rohini and Yashoda, they also, they were also puzzled. Who is she? And they asked her, where do you come from? Who are you? And she said, I am the wife of a Brahmin from Mathura. Very cunning woman, huh? She's a witch. But she said, I am the wife of a Brahmin from Mathura. I have come to give blessings to the newborn son. So they thought, oh, how nice. You see, the demon, the first demon, as soon as Lord Krishna is born, the first demon is the, the cheater, the teacher who cheats. 
Bhutana represents that. The, the bogus guru who comes to cheat. She's coming and she's saying, I just want to give blessings to your newborn child. And by the influence of Yoga Maya, not Maha Maya, it was Yoga Maya, Mother Yashoda is not influenced by Maha Maya, by the influence of Yoga Maya, for the purpose of Lord Krishna's pastimes, it was arranged that Putana could pick up this child, Lord Krishna, and she could offer her breast into the mouth of Lord Krishna. And Putana has put deadly poison on her breast. We are told that this Putana had already killed many small children. She'd been sent by Kamsa. Kamsa said, go everywhere, kill all the newborn children. Kill them. And she would kill them in this way by giving her poison breast to them. As soon as they would take, as soon as their mouth would enter on her breast, they would die immediately. But actually, who were these children who died? We're told actually that although these demons were sent by Kamsa to kill all the small children, they couldn't harm any of the devotee children. Because those who are engaged in hearing and chanting and worshipping Lord Krishna, those who are engaged in devotional service, they can never be affected by, they can never be influenced by any of these black arts of these witches. These witches and ghosts and hobgoblins, all these kinds of creatures, they can never give trouble to those who are engaged in devotional service. We have to remember these things, always to keep ourselves engaged in devotional service. And this will protect us from all evil spirits. So although Putana had been killing children, she was killing the children of Kamsa's people. She was not killing the children of the devotees, but she was killing Kamsa's children. The followers of Kamsa, she was killing their children. So this is how Maya works. The demon Kamsa was thinking he was being so clever, sending his demons everywhere. He was simply killing his own supporters' children. Now, when Putana put her breast into the mouth of Lord Krishna, it's described how Lord Krishna, first of all, he was angry at this woman because he thought, she has killed so many children. She's come to Braja with the intention of killing children. So it said, he closed his eyes. Why did, why did he close his eyes? One reason, different reasons are given. One was, he does not like to look on such a woman, such a personality that she's come to kill. And also, of course, it's not very proper to kill women. In the Vedic culture, women, brahmanas, cows, and who else? Children. They're never killed, yes? Hmm? Yeah. So different like that, they're not supposed to be killed by the Vedic culture. But when somebody like Putana is there who is really sinful, then she has to be killed. And we see the same also in Ramayana. In Valmiki Ramayana is described also the first demon, the first Rakshasi killed by Lord Rama was also a woman. So Lord Krishna closes, uh, closing his eyes is to encourage Putana 
in her task, that he wants her to come forward, he wants to, to, to do her evil deed. He, and Lord Krishna also doesn't want to see her face, such a nasty woman. He wants also that she should can she she should not hesitate in this task which she's going to perform so lord krishna closes close to that actually it said also when putana first saw lord krishna she could understand this is no ordinary child this child could destroy the whole universe this child is so powerful so putana had some understanding of the, 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 the divine power of Lord Krishna. But still, she wants to continue her evil task and she comes forward to offer her breast. So Lord Krishna took her breast and angrily, angrily he pulled her breast and she screamed, Oh child, leave me! And Lord Krishna not only sucked out the, the milk of Putana and the poison of Putana, he sucked out the life air of Putana. And she was in so much pain, it's described how in Srimad Bhagavatam it describes that she had come into the home of Nanda Maharaj and she'd come in there and actually picked up Lord Krishna. But when Lord Krishna had pulled her breast, she, she rushed up, she stood up, she rushed out, she rushed out of the home, into the courtyard, out into the, the fields, and she assumed her rakshasi form, gigantic form, 12 miles long. 12 miles long, she assumed this huge form, and she fell to the ground, dead. So it's described that when she fell, she actually fell over all the fruit trees which were the personal trees of Kamsa. King Kamsa had his own garden with all his sweet fruits and Kamsa came out, Aputna rather came out there and she fell over all these trees, knocked over all of Kamsa's trees. Nanda Maharaj was not actually at home at the time when this incident happened. He had gone to Mathura to take care of some business and at that time he had met Vasudev and Vasudev had told him, you should get back to Gokul very quickly because some inauspicious events may take place. You should be there in case anything inauspicious happens. So Nanda Maharaj, he's a very simple person. He's a cowherd man. And Vasudev, he was a politician. He was a diplomat. He was very learned. So Nanda Maharaj took the words of Vasudev very seriously. And he thought, yes, I must go back immediately. And when he came back, then he saw this huge form of Putana laying across the fields, 12 miles long. So the, the screaming of Putana had disturbed all the people in Goku. But when she assumed that gigantic form, then they were really surprised. And what about Lord Krishna? What is he doing? He's playing on the breast of Putana. The people, the ladies of Goku, Mother Yashoda and Rohini, they all came out and they thought, where is Krishna? And they saw he was on the breast of Putana. They picked him up and the, then they, the ladies of Goku, they know how to protect their children. So they understood that this is not a very good thing which has happened to our child. 
We have to purify our child. And Srimad Bhagavatam describes how they did it. They used the, the tail of the cow, first of all, and they chanted different Vedic mantras. And with the tail of the cow, they created nice, auspicious atmosphere for the child. They bathed Lord Krishna in the urine of the cow. And then they took cow dung and they marked his body just as we mark our body with Gopi Chandan, they marked the body of Lord Krishna with cow dung and chanted the auspicious names of Lord Vishnu for his purification. Srila Prabhupada tells us, we should also know this culture. He said, although these ladies in Vrindavan were not very educated, they were simple gopis, cowherd ladies. They would just spend the day milking the cows and churning the butter. But they knew how to purify their child from the inauspicious event. And they did it by making use of the cow and the cow urine and the cow dung. How important all of these things are in our culture. Nanda Maharaj and the cowherd men came and they saw this body of Putana. They were just amazed. What is this? Where did this person come from? It's interesting to note that although Putana had to assume the gigantic form, her original form as a Rakshasi, Lord Krishna remained the same as a little child. He did not have to assume any form. Lord Krishna has all the potencies in his form, even as a child, even as a little baby, he has all the potencies of the Supreme Lord. So he does not have to assume any big form, or he doesn't have to show the universal form, or he doesn't even have to show the forearm form. Because if he did that, Mother Yashoda's bhakti would be influenced. Mother Yashoda, she likes to think of Krishna as her child. If she sees her child with four arms, it's not going to be the same anymore. The loving relationship, the, the devotion which we, she has in thinking of Krishna as her child will not be there if she sees her child with the forearm Vasudev form. So Krishna is concerned to keep the mood of loving devotion there in Mother Yashoda. Nanda Maharaj and all the cowherd men, they then decide to chop up the body of Putana because she was an evil Rakshasi. In the Vedic culture it said when there's some poisonous creature like a snake, you have to cut it to pieces and burn it. And only then are you safe. If you don't burn, cut it up and burn it, they may come back to life and get you. And sometimes it's said that if you kill a snake, at the time you kill the snake, the snake's eyes take a photo of you and your picture goes in their eyes. And another snake will come along and see the dead snake, will see your photo in the eyes of the dead snake and the, the other snake will come and get you. So you have to be very careful. You kill a snake, don't just kill it and leave it. You have to cut it to pieces and burn it. Only then are you safe. So this is what they did with Putana. They cut her to pieces and they got wood and they burned her. And when they burned her body, then this wonderful aroma arose. 
a beautiful, like more fragrant than even a guru. A guru is a very nice fragrant scent to offer for the pleasure of Krishna. But when they burned the body of Putana, the aroma was even better than the fragrance of the aguru. How was it possible? Because Lord Krishna had purified the body of Putana by his transcendental touch. So all the people of Goku were blessed to enjoy the fragrance of the burning body of Putana. So we were mentioning that this Putana represents the bad teacher, the corrupt teacher. As soon as Krishna takes his birth, Lord Krishna comes, then the bogus gurus also come. We see there are so many different gurus, bogus gurus. Therefore, we want to hear the pastimes of Krishna. We have to hear them from the devotees. Sukadeva Goswami says in the beginning of the Srimad Bhagavatam and in the beginning of 10th canto, Nivrita Tarsher Upagiyamanach Bhavosadash Shrotram Bhavosadash Shrotram Gunanu Right? Right? Like, like that. Sukadeva Goswami describes the qualification of the speaker of sh the pastimes of Lord Krishna that they have to be without material desire. They have to be free from material desires. And they have to be fully dedicated to the service of Krishna. And they have to present the pastimes of Krishna as they have heard it from the Acharyas. We have to speak what is told to us by the Acharyas. We don't have to invent anything. The impersonalists, the Mayavadis, they will take the pastimes of Krishna and they will invent so many things. They will describe so many different meanings to the Leela of Krishna. So we don't do that. We simply hear from the, the pages of Srimad Bhagavatam and from the teachings of the Acharyas. I remember one time Prabhupada came to London on Janmastami and so many people came and they thought Prabhupada would speak about the pastimes of Lord Krishna. But Prabhupada spoke about Bhagavad Gita. Prabhupada spoke about the transcendental nature of Lord Krishna's birth. Although I'm unborn and my transcendental body never, I still appear in every millennium. Prabhupada spoke about the philosophy rather than simply pastimes. We want to understand the philosophy. Prabhupada was very concerned about that. And generally when he would speak on Janmastami, he would always speak about the past, the, the, the philosophy of Lord Krishna and his, uh, the nature of his birth and activities and how it is all transcendental. It is not of this material world. So these things have to be understood. Are there any questions? Yes, Prabhu? There's a mic. Thank you very much, Maharaj, for the uh, wonderful assimilation of the pastimes. Uh, Maharaj, I have two short questions. Uh, 
first one is that you mention Vasudev as a father of Krishna, the two qualities that he is expert politician, at the same time he is truthful. So, uh, as I have experienced in this in this world that uh, politics always involves some lies and some manipulation. So, how can the politics, how this fits into the place? Vasudev is expert politician at the same time very truthful. Well, you're speaking about present-day politicians. We have to understand the nature of the Kshatriyas in the past. The, the, in the past, the Kshatriyas were, were not liars and cheaters. They were not interested simply in their own aggrandizement, but they were interested in the welfare of the people. They were concerned in protecting the people and giving them well, uh, guiding them properly for their ultimate spiritual benefit as well as material benefit. They would look after the needs of the people. Of course, today the situation has become, become degraded because Prabhupada points out that people who are not really Kshatriyas take the position of politicians. But in the past, long ago, the the statesmen, the statesmen were Rajarshis, they were Kshatriyas. Now Vasudev was not a Maharati, he was not a great fighter, but he was very learned and he was a uh, good speaker, as we see when he, how he dealt with Kamsa. And Kamsa accepted, accepted the integrity of, Kams, of uh, Vasudev, and that was why he didn't kill Devaki because he recognized his integrity and he, he accepted that. So that, that is the qualification of the Kshatriya. These qual qualities are mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita, how they're, they're very charitable and they're very courageous and they're very powerful people also. Ni uh, seven qualities are there of the Kshatriya, I think. I don't remember all of them, but charity, Ishwara Bhav, that's certainly one. And then also being very courageous and heroic. So these kind of qualities were there. So Vasudev was like that. Mahaj, and the second question is that, uh, uh, that uh, we hear that Rohini was transferred from Mathura to Nand Maharaj home because she was pregnant uh, and then uh, Balram came into her womb. So when she was pregnant, she was pregnant with uh, uh, like uh, Balram or like with somebody else? Like what happened to her previous uh, like that? I've also wondered about that myself. I don't know quite what happened to that other child who was in the womb of Rohini. But anyway, Balram took the place. <laughs> I don't know who the other child was. We know that later on Subhadra, there was a Sub Subhadra who became the wife of Arjun. She was also daughter of Rohini. And she was very, very beautiful. And she was Yoga Maya. And she became the wife of Arjuna. But I don't know about the pregnant child who was in the womb initially. All right, so 7.30, we will stop here now. Srimad Bhagavatam ki jai. Sri Krishna Mahotsava ki. Hare Krishna. Nijet anuhav karan je amar daitya padega lagta. E bolche Bhagavan, ami apnar tala amaka ke dekta habe. To say the come mon babde, the doctor abole, say the come hobby. The regum sares at Sares at Trabejaka, Guru Mars class devil, to Achekane, cover neve, to Nekane, Cortaras of Cholegate with the Kaja to the statue. The Guru Maras, Nal Guru Maja, the one asbe, Amagabulbe, Tigache, Toto Gunamara Sunte, Sunte Taki, to Nevabe, Bhagavan, Togan Toturhu Jupe Darsan Gore. 
তোরা তো খুশি হয়ে গেছে কিন্তু বুঝতে পারছি তো ভগবান তখন বাসুদেব তাকে স্তব স্তুতি করা শুরু করে দিয়েছে দেবকে স্তব স্তুতি করা শুরু করে দিয়েছে দেখে বলছে তুমি অদ্ভুত রূপ ধারণ করো না তুমি তোমার নর্মাল রূপ ধারণ করো গুরু মহারাজ এসে গেছেন জয় শিলা জয় পুত্র স্বামী গুরু মহারাজ কে সমবেত ভক্ত বৃন্দ কে হিতাই গৌর প্রমানন্দে হরি হরি বোল হরি বোল তো এখনই গুরু মহারাজের শ্রী মুক্তকে আমরা ভগবানের কথা শ্রবণ করব হরে কৃষ্ণ Recording in progress. Hare Hare Yadavaya Nama Shimadusudam Pangong Langa Yate Girim Shri Gurum Di Natarina Shri Chaitanya Mishwaram Hare Om Sat Sat Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 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 What did you say over here? হরে কৃষ্ণ আজকে হচ্ছে ভগবান শ্রীকৃষ্ণের জন্মাষ্টমী আবির্ভাব টুডে appearance day of lord sri krishna 
दे जन्माष्टमी I understand your heart. How Krishna appears. So I understand you heard how Krishna appears. So I mean, Bhuji, ji, apna ra swaban ko achen ki baba Bhagwan Sri Krishna abir butahan. How he came in the in the prison house of Kansa first appear with. Arms and uh, how he came in the prison house of house of Kamsa, where he first appeared with four arms. Kibabetini Kongshir Karagare, Prothame Abibuto Hechilen, Ebong Prothametini Chotur Buj Rup Dharan Korea Abutin Nohan. So this was a brother. He was the supreme person of Godhead. This was to prove that he was the supreme personality of Godhead. Tineta Korachilen, eight Nista Praman Karajan, the Tini Hachan, Lila Purusopatam Bhagavan. A Belagi and a Kananje, Sadanata, Bhata Rode. Devokir Monavasana Chilo, the Santan K. Batsolo Rupetaka, Mother Devoki Pratna Corlin. Oh, Devoki Pratna Corlin. Mother Devoki prayed to see the Lord in a Batsalia form or in a uh, form that would be conjugal, uh, conducive for parental mood. Child in the form of a child, normal child. I love it. Bacha wrote down Kore, said Rasudev, Take, Nidra Janna, or Hachi. Say, Batsulu, Batsulu, Baran Kore. Tapare se Basudev take niye jawat janno nirdesh kara hai sir. So in this way the Lord took the form of a child and he had ordered Basudev to take him elsewhere. Oh, like that. I think you've heard all these past times. So like that, I think that you have heard all these past times. So, so by Krishna's mystic power, all the gods, everyone fell asleep. So uh, Shackles of uh, Asadeva were open and he could take Lady Krishna to the hall. All these shackles of Vasudeva were open and he could take the baby Krishna to Gokul. Kibabe, Vasudeva had their Somasto shackle gully, Vasomasto string call gully, Kule Gesilo among Tini. Krishna ke Gokule, Shishu Krishna ke Gokule niye jete prasadam. Ah, uh, every day of Brahma. Uh, one day as thousand yugas, he comes in one of those yugas. So in one day there are thousand yugas, and he comes in one of those yugas. Brahma ar ek dinhe sahasra yug hai, abong tini. He comes to bless the whole world with pure devotion. He comes to bless the whole world with his pure devotion. Tini Agavan Karan Shara Bishake Tar Shuddha Bhakti Dara Ashid Bhat Kurti. He comes 
to show them the past times in Vrindavan until I go to He comes to show them the past times in Vrindavan, Mathura and Dwaraka. Tini Agamon Karen Chakol ke tar Vrindavan lila, Mathura lila, evang Dwaraka lila dhekhan or jang. But this Vrindavan lila is the most attractive. But this Vrindavan lila is the most attractive. Kintu tar Vrindavan lila hache shab chai te akarshanyo. Actually, I just stole a Vrindavan Ache, the Ache Alvinda, and I want to take Vrindavan to you. Actually, Je stole a Vrindavan Ache, Shetahoche, Obino, Paramatic Jogotheke. The Vrindavan that we have in this planet is non different. From the Vrindavan in the spiritual world. Um, I thought that the Sufi gets it, but once it's our Vajrayaga and the Atanta Sindha Sodha Sodha Dajjalo. Akon Eka Eta 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 Sufi gets it, Kinto Pansajar Bachar Age, Eta Atanta Sundar, Yavang Shabuj, Shabuj Bharachilo. Now it is dried up a little bit, but yeah, 5,000 years. Sindha, Sodha, Sodha, Dajjalo. Akhon, Eka, Eta, 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 Shukhiye Gache, Kintu, Panchajar, Bachar, Aage, Eta, Atunta, Sundar, Yabang, Shabuj, Shabuj, Bhara, Chilo. Now it is dried up a little bit, but 5,000 years back, it was very, very beautiful with all greenery, with greenery everywhere. Well, Krishna went there, so I saw Vishnu Avatar, Akash Achan. Krishna went there, so most of Vishesh Avatar, Prakash Achan. Vishnu Avatar. Vishnu Avatar, Prakash Achan. Within Bhagavan, within Lord Sri Krishna, all the Vishnu incarnations are uh, present. And they expand from him. Mahavishnu is the expansion of Sankarshana. Mahavishnu is an expansion of Shankarshana. Mahavishnu Chen Shankarsana Prakash. He is the expansion of Narayana. And he is the expansion of Narayana. Evang Tini Holan, Shankarsana Holan, Narayana Prakash. Narayana Hotsan and Chantabuha Prakash. Narayana is the expansion of the Chaturvyuha. Chandadeva Hachan, Baladeva, Tinai Varshan. Chaturviya Hachan, Baladeva, Tinai Varshan. Then the Chaturviyas uh, are the, are actually Baladeva's uh, Aungsha Prakash. Kiyala. Balade Hatsan, Krishna Pratham. Balade Hatsan, Krishna Pratham Prakash. And Balade is the first expansion of Krishna. All of these expansions are in the body of Krishna. So all these expansions are in the body of Krishna. A Shamasta, the Prakash Guli, a Wangsa Prakash Guli, a Rashab, Bhagavan Sri Krishna Sharibe, our son Karan. So the Vishnu, I said to Krishna, is the one who kills the demons. So the Vishnu aspect of Krishna is the one who kills the demons. 
তাই ভগবান শ্রীকৃষ্ণের শরীরে অবস্থিত বিষ্ণু অংশে তিনি সমস্ত অসুরদেরকে নাশ করেন বা হত্যা করেন যেহেতু পারমার্থিক জগতে কোন অসুর থাকে না এবং তাই অসুরেরা সব এই জড়জগতে রয়েছে এবং বিষ্ণু অবতাররাও এই জড়জগতে প্রকাশিত হন কৃষ্ণ তার লীলা বিলাস প্রদর্শন করেন বৃন্দাবনে বাৎসল্য রস সক্ষ রস বাৎসল্য রস এবং মাধুর্য রস প্রকাশ হয় বৃন্দাবন কৃষ্ণ এইসব লীলা প্রকাশ করার জন্য উনি আসেন কৃষ্ণ ডিসেন্স টু এক্সপ্যান্ড অর টু ম্যানিফেস্ট দিস টাইমস কিন্তু এই সমস্ত লীলা বিলাস শুদ্ধ ভক্তের শ্রী মুখা রবীন্দ্র থেকে শ্রবণ করতে হয় people they become even slight bit interested in hearing about krishna they become liberated jodi lokera ba janagon jodi samanno jodi agroho prakash kore ba agroho anito hoy shri krishna sambandhe shrobon korar jonno tahole tara uddhar labh kore thanks there is a body সকলেরা মনে করে যে তারা হচ্ছে এই দেহ এবং তাদের জীবনের লক্ষ্য হচ্ছে কেবলমাত্র ইন্দ্রিয় উপভোগ করা সুইটনেস সেই জন্য কৃষ্ণ এসেছেন গৌরাঙ্গ রূপে এই কৃষ্ণ প্রেম বিতরণ করার জন্য টু ডিস্ট্রিবিউট দিস লাভ অফ কৃষ্ণ তাই আমরা শ্রীল প্রভুবাদের কাছে প্রার্থনা করি যে তো তিনি গৌরবাহিনী প্রদান করছেন
simultaneously are in Gaul Vrindavan and then they Chaitanya Leela. Those who are devotees of Lord Chaitanya, they are simultaneously in Goloka Vrindavan and then in the Chaitanya Leela. Jara Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Bhakta Tara Jugopad Bhave Mani Aki Shamay Tara Golok Vrindavan Eurasen Ebong Chaitanya Leela Eurasen. The uh, all the Vrindavan has far access. The Golok Vrindavan has far access. Golok Vrindavan has Chatti Prakosh Eurasen. Vrindavan 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 Mathura Evang Dharaka Mathura Evang Dharaka Mathura and Dwaraka and Saita Dev Arsh and Saita Dev Arsh Saita Dev Saita Dev is the place of Lord Chaitanya Saita Dev is the place of Lord Chaitanya Saita Dev is the place of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Stan. Devan and Krishna Lila was completely surrendered to Krishna to get his mercy. If you want in Krishna Lila, those who are completely surrendered to Krishna could get his mercy. Jodi Apna Chan, Krishna Lila, Jara Sampur Nurupe Krishna Sarana Goto, Tarata Kripa Lapko Tepato. Lord Chaitanya was more merciful than Krishna. But Lord Chaitanya was more merciful than Krishna. Kinto Bhagavan Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Bhagavan Sri Krishna Teke Odhik Doyag. He gave out freely the love of Krishna. He gave out freely the love of Krishna. Tini Akatare Krishna Prem. Billy Koretan. Our Prabhupada said that we are Krishna devotees. The Prabhupada said that we are Krishna devotees. So the Prabhupada Bolachan Amra Krishna Bhakti. And therefore, as all Atari, how we do the full fast on the Krishna Janrasta. Therefore, he is the avatari, and therefore we do full fast on Krishna Janmashtami or Gaur Purnima. Evang Shaijan na jehetu tiniyachan avatari, tai amra sampurna upubash kari Janmashtami dine evang Gaur Purnima dine, Dol Purnima dine. On Janmashtami we ask on the night and then we take on the kalva. In Janmashtami, we pass to midnight, midnight and take Anukalpa. Janmashtami din amra madharat parjanto kubash kore tar pare anukalpa prasad grahan kore. And on the Akal Pranima, we pass to moonrise, then we take Anukalpa. And on the Gaur Purnima, we fast till moonrise and then take Anukalpa Krishna. Evang Gaur Purnima dine, Amra Chandra Dai Parjanto Postkori, Evang Tarpar Anukalpa Prasad Brahman. Other days, it's optional if we go fast or high grain. Other day, it is optional. Whether we food, whether we do food fast or take greens. Or none of them will be optional. Ba nijo nijo itcha ono sare apni sampurno upavas kotte uparen. Othoba apni ushasho dana gohon kotte pan. Allah, Krishna, we take birth. We don't have a choice. So when we take birth, we don't have a choice. 
যখন আমরা জন্মগ্রহণ করি আমাদের কোন রকম ইচ্ছা অনিচ্ছার উপর নির্ভর করে না সেই জন্য শ্রী প্রভুপাদ বলেছিলেন যে এরা হচ্ছে বৈকুণ্ঠ সন্তান তার আবির্ভাব এবং তার লীলা বিলাস সবই পারমার্থিক বা তো সেই জন্য আমরা যদি আমরা যদি তার জন্ম কর্ম ইত্যাদি এগুলি সব যে দিব্য এটা আমরা যদি আমরা বুঝি তাহলে এই দেহ ত্যাগ করার পর আমাদের আর জন্ম হবে না যেমন শ্রীকৃষ্ণ ভগবদ গীতায় বলেছেন জন্ম কর্ম চমে দিব্যাম এবং যো ব্যক্তি তত্ত্বতা ত্যক্ত বা দেহম পুনর্জন্ম নৈতি মা মেতি সৌজনা দ্যাট ইফ উই আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড দ্যাট দর্ড লর্ড অ্যাপিয়ারেন্স হিজ অ্যাক্টিভিটিস দেখুন জড়বাদীরা তারা মনে করে যে কৃষ্ণের যে জন্ম বা আবির্ভাব সেটা সাধারণ একটি ব্যাপার কিন্তু আমরা জানি যে যারা ভক্ত সমস্ত ভক্তরা তারা বুঝতে পারে যে কৃষ্ণের আবির্ভাব হচ্ছে তিনি বিচার করেন যে কে হবেন তার মা কে হবেন তার বাবা এবং আপনারা শ্রবণ করেছেন কিভাবে তারা কঠোর তপস্যা করেছিলেন 
कृष्ण के तरह सन्तान रूप पवार भगवान श्रीकृष्ण प्रत्येक भागवत खंडे खंडे सब ही हम दिव्य अप्राकृत उपदेश करी प्रति गृहस्थर गृह कर श्रीमद भागवतम अवश्य थका उचित कमपक्षे श्रीकृष्ण ग्रंथ रखते चैतन्य चरित अमृत सेटते अप्राकृत दिव्य And the disappearance are all transcendental. So his appearance, his existence, and his disappearance are all transcendental. Tai tar abir bhav tar ekhane obosthan bas thiti evam tar tiro bhav shabtai hotche aprakrito. They are the control of the three modes of nature. It is beyond the control. Of the three modes of the nature of nature. एवं तार ये अवतरण जड़ा प्रकृति तीन गुनेर नियंत्रणेर उर्धे. And his sign that the supreme personality God had is a person. And he's showing that that the supreme personality of God here is a person. प्रदर्शन करम पुरुषोत्तम परमेश्वर भगवान धर्म रही भगवान हम व्यक्ति विशेष मन भगवान निर्विशेष The patans that Allah was a person. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu patan der kache jokhon Quran byakha kore chen. Tadher ke tini bojate shakham hoye chen je Allah hote chen ek jon bhakti vishesh. I had a someone studied Quran from Azharbahan 
and uh, he found only one verse that says Allah is like a light. So I heard the Quran. I heard that the Quran. Brother Ajahn Bajan. Ajahn Bajan. Okay, I heard the Quran from the Ajahn Bajan, and he said that there is only one verse which says that Allah was a, was a light. So, Ajahn, Amake, Ami Ajahn ke diye Quran, Ajahn ke Quran porte bolle chilam Ajahn Bajan theke. এবং সে পুরো কোরআন খুঁজে একমাত্র একটি শ্লোক পেয়েছিল পুরো কোরআন থেকে যে শ্লোকটাতে বলা হয়েছিল যে আল্লাহ হচ্ছে একটি আলো বিশেষ বা এক জ্যোতিময় জ্যোতি বিশেষ কিন্তু আর সব জায়গায় বলে যে আল্লাহ দয়াময় ইত্যাদি ইত্যাদি তো কোন আলো বা কোন জ্যোতি দয়াময় হতে পারে না বাট ইন আদার প্লেসেস ইট মেনশন দ্যাট আল্লাহ ইজ অল মার্সিফুল আল্লাহ হ্যাজ সো মেনি আদার কোয়ালিটিস সো সিম্পলি এ লাইট ক্যানট বি মার্সিফুল we don't think oh merciful light bulb amra kokhono mone kori na je o ottonto doyalu light bulb so krishna he does light his past time and he is a person he did a prajna so krishna this place is his past times and he is a person is lila purushottam tai krishna tini tar lila prakash kore thaken tini hocchen ekjon byaktitto bishesh byakti bishesh ebong tini hocchen lila purushottam param purush sadhas idea of impersonalism is very offensive to lord krishna so this idea of impersonalism is very offensive towards lord krishna তাই এই যে নির্বিশেষ বাদের ধারণা এটা ভগবান শ্রীকৃষ্ণ চরণে অত্যন্ত অপরাধ নির্বিশেষ বাদীরা তারা বলে কৃষ্ণের হাত নেই পা নেই তার মাথা নেই তার কোন রূপ নেই যদি আপনার স্ত্রীকে আপনি বলেন যে তার হাত নেই পা নেই তার কোন রূপ নেই সে আপনার সাথে ঝগড়া করবে তাই এইভাবে বলা হয় যে মায়াবাদীরা কৃষ্ণে অপরাধী দ্যাট ফর ইট ইস মায়াবাদী যার ফ্রেন্ডার্স এট দ্য লোটাস ফিট অফ কৃষ্ণ তাই আমাদের পূর্ব আচার্যগণ এবং শাস্ত্র আমাদেরকে বলে থাকে যে কৃষ্ণ হচ্ছেন একজন চিন্ময় ব্যক্তিবিশেষ যখন কৃষ্ণ গোবর্ধন পর্বত উত্তোলন করেছিলেন সেটা এমন একটা কার্য যা সকলে বা যে কেউ সেটা করতে পারে না He saw to Arjuna 
the Sota Bhagavad Gita in the eleventh chapter, he saw the Visharup. When he spoke when he spoke the Bhagavad Gita in the eleventh chapter, he showed the Vishwaru. Jakantini Bhagav um Orjun ke Bhagavad Gita Rupadesh Pradam Kurachilan. Gita Akada Sadhai Bonana Vesija Tini Krishna ke Kutini the Orjun ke Vishwaru Darsan Gesilan. So, if anyone, if anyone says that they are Bhagavan, ask them to show the uh, universal form. Jodi keo bol jahir kore ba bolle je tara Bhagavan ta hole tadher ke bolun Vishwarup dakhate. Lord Chaitanya, he took the form of Mahadev and he had four hooves. Lord Chaitanya, he took the form of Varahadev and he had four hooves. Bhagavan Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Varaha Rup Dharan Kore Chilen, Ebon Tar Shai Chatta Khur Chilo, Pair Khur. But someone claims that their Bhagavan has in his shoulder hooves. If someone claims that they are Bhagavan, ask them to show their hoofs. Jodi keo jahir kore, but tara jodi bole thake je tara hotche Bhagavan, tahle bolun tadher ke tadher paer khur dakhte. You know, in uh, Rajwandri, there was a person. He said he's a Kalki avatar. In Rajmundri, there was a person, he said that he was the Kalki avatar. Rajmundri, the Ajahn Bhakti Chilen, She Bolivarata, the Shehacha Kalki avatar. The scripture says, that Kalki will come at the end of Kali Yuga. But the scripture says that Kalki will come at the end of Kali Yuga. Kintu Shastre, Balahai, Bashastre Bole, J. Kolki Asben Kolijugir Shishi. Four hundred thirty two thousand years from now. That is four hundred thirty two thousand years from now. Shetache Akunteke Charloko Botrish Hajar Botopore. Minus five. Minus five. Tateke Badjabe Pantajar Botop. So he asked then Arjuna that early. So then they then they asked, aren't you a little bit early? So Takan Kelko Take Jigasa Kulam. Apnek to Tatari Kura Chale Sana. I may not be Kalki, but I am an avatar. I may not be Kalki, but I am an avatar. Ami had to Kolki now hotel Bariki to Ami Arjun Avatar. So then they the things so cheap. So then they think that these things are so cheap. Tai Tara Monekore Jesha Kutujano Yati Shasta. In the Krishna Lila, I see the Pandraka, he tried to imitate that he was Krishna. So in Krishna Lila, we see Pandraka, he was trying to imitate that he was Krishna. To Amra, Krishna Lila the Deki. Je Pondrak, She Pondrak Namakak Bekti, She Krishna Ke Onukaran Kara Chesta Korechilo. I like this. In the Kali and Dwapara Yuga, there was one imposter. So, like this, in Dwapara Yuga, there was one imposter. So, Eivabe, Dapur Juge, Akjon Matro. A Unukaran Kari Chilo. I can call you there. I said, I said, I can call you there. So, I can call you there. I can call you there. Now, in the age of Kali, we have an uncountable number of uh, 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 this uh, pseudo or uh, uh, false names. So, in the age of Kali, we have an uncountable number of false names. And Vaishnava was saying that Krishna said, Samavami, 
তিনি প্রতি যুগে এসে থাকেন এখন আমাদের এই কলি যুগে প্রতি শতাব্দীতে প্রতি দশকে প্রায় প্রতি মিনিটে এক একজন অবতার আসছে সেই জন্য কৃষ্ণ কলি যুগে যেহেতু এত ভন্ড অবতার রয়েছে তাই কৃষ্ণ ঘোষিত ভাবে তিনি অবতার রূপে কলি যুগে অবতরণ করেন না তিনি ছন্ন অবতার রূপে আসেন মহাপ্রভু হি কেম বাট হি ডিড নট সে দ্যাট হি ওয়াজ গড চৈতন্য মহাপ্রভু রূপে তিনি এসেছিলেন কিন্তু তিনি বলতেন না যে তিনি হচ্ছেন ভগবান যদিও কৃষ্ণ তিনি যে পরমেশ্বর ভগবান ছিলেন সেটা তিনি লুকাতেন না তবুও তিনি মানুষের মতো বা নরলীরা তিনি করেছেন তিনি নন্দ মহারাজের জুতা মাথায় করে নিয়ে গেছেন হি ক্যারেড দ্য শুজ অব নন্দ মহারাজ অন ইজ হেড যখন কৃষ্ণের দামোদর লীলা হয়েছে যশোদা চেষ্টা করেছে কৃষ্ণকে একটা রশি দিয়ে বাঁধবার জন্য দামোদর লীলা টেক্স প্লেস যশোদা ট্রাইস টু বাইন কৃষ্ণ উইথ এ রোপ ছিল কিন্তু সবসময় দু আঙুল ছোট পড়ছিল but always there was a shortage of a couple of inches uh, finally she was able to bind krishna by krishna's mercy finally she was able to bind krishna by krishna's mercy avashesh tumi krishna ke bandhan korte sakkham hoyechen krishner kripate then uh, krishna তখন কৃষ্ণ সেই উদুখল কে অর্জুন জমল অর্জুন বৃক্ষ সেই বৃক্ষের মাঝে নিয়ে গেছেন এবং এই গাছ দুটি 
ভেঙে পড়ে গিয়েছিল এইভাবে কুবেরের পুত্র দয়কে মুক্তি দেওয়া হয়েছিল কিন্তু নারদ মুনি তাদেরকে অভিশাপ দিয়েছিলেন কিন্তু তাদের সেই অভিশাপ প্রকৃতপক্ষে এক ছদ্ম রূপী আশীর্বাদ ছিল তারা ইন্দ্রিয় ভোগে অন্ধ হয়ে গিয়েছিল অভিশাপ দিয়েছিলেন যে তারা বৃক্ষরূপে জন্মগ্রহণ করবে কিন্তু নন্দ মহারাজের বাড়িতে এইভাবে কৃষ্ণ তাদের উদ্ধার করলেন ইন দিস ওয়ে কৃষ্ণ ডেলিভার্ডেন এবং তারপর তারা কৃষ্ণকে প্রণাম করলেন এবং তারপরে তারা তাদের স্বর্গে ফিরে গিয়েছিল তারপর নন্দ মহারাজ এসে দেখলেন এবং তিনি দেখলেন সেই উৎপাটিত গাছগুলি তারপর তিনি প্রশ্ন করলেন অন্যান্য বাচ্চাদেরকে যে কি হয়েছিল তো তখন তারা বললেন যে কৃষ্ণ এই দুটো গাছ ভেঙে দিয়েছেন এবং এই দুটো গাছের মধ্যে থেকে দুটো জ্যোতির্ময় ব্যক্তি তারা বেরিয়ে এসছেন এবং তারা কৃষ্ণকে প্রার্থনা করেছেন স্তব স্তুতি করেছেন এবং তারপর তারা স্বর্গে উড়ে চলে গেছেন নন্দ মহারাজ দ্যাট কৃষ্ণ কেম ইন বিটুইন টু ট্রিজ অ্যান্ড ই ব্রোক দ্য ট্রিজ and two effulgent personalities emerged from there and they prayed to krishna offered prayed to, uh, offered prayers to krishna and they flew off to the heavenly planets all these children what imagination all these children talks imagination ei sob bachchara shudhu kalpanik kotha bolche so like this krishna says times কামসা তারপর আপনারা শুনেছেন কিভাবে আচ্ছা 
কংসের অনুগামীদের সন্তানদেরকে সন্তানরাও পুতনার দ্বারা নিহত হয়েছিল how krishna he was so kind he held elevated putana to the position of his mother in the spiritual world ebong krishna etoi param dayamoy je krishna putana ke tar matritto dan korechen paramarthik jagotte take uddhar kore ei leva gan kore srivasa bhai তো এই লীলা গান করেছিলেন শ্রীবাসের ভাই এবং এই গান শুনে চৈতন্য মহাপ্রভু গৌরাঙ্গ মহাপ্রভু তিনি ভাবাপন্ন হয়ে পড়েছিলেন This pastime was sung by the brother of Srivast Thakur and when Lord Chaitanya heard this he became completely ecstatic and he fainted. Asala Mahanda Jata he sang the song before Andre Pavadari also Mukunda Jata he sang this song before Pundari ka Premam Nidhi তাছাড়া এই গান গদাধর পণ্ডিত পুন্ডরিক মুকুন্দ দত্ত পুন্ডরিক প্রেমনিধির সম্মুখে এই গান করেছিলেন এই শ্লোক পাঠ করেছিলেন এবং পুন্ডরিক প্রেমনিধি সম্পূর্ণ উন্মাদ হয়ে গেছিলেন ভগবত প্রেমে গদাধার যখন এই দৃশ্য দেখলেন তখন তিনি উপলব্ধি করলেন যে তিনি ভুল করেছেন Krishna's pastimes are filled with nectar. So Krishna's pastimes are filled with nectar. Tai Krishna Lila Amrita Bhara. Ananda Dev, he has thousands of heads. That Ananda Dev, he has thousands of heads. Ananda Dev, he has thousands of heads. Ananda Dev, he has thousands of heads. হাজার মুখ আছে তার হাজার মুখ রয়েছে এবং সমস্ত মুখে তিনি যুগপদ একসঙ্গে কৃষ্ণ গুণ মহিমা কীর্তন করছেন of krishna's glories but they can never find an end to krishna's glories kintu tini kokhono tar mukh guli kokhono krishner mohimar onto khuje panna so what what hope do we have then what hope we have tahole amader ki ba asha royeche so today is the very auspicious day and remember krishna's past times so today is an auspicious day to remember krishna's past times to aaj hocche ottonto shubho din krishner lila shoron korar jonno so i guess krishna he went to hogo but uh, Hello. So like this Krishna he went to Gokul was with Yashoda to ei bhabe Krishna tini Gokule gaman karen tini Yashoda ar kache chilen 
रथ यात्रा so during our ratyatra in chennai dinabandhu prabhu was telling that how lord shiva came to the house of yashoda to amader chennai ratyatra kale dinabandhu prabhu eshe bornona korchilen kibhabe yashodar ghore shiv thakur eshechilen kal yashoda kache yashoda kache yashoda kache and uh our rath yatra started in front of a shiva temple and our rath yatra started in front of a shiva temple amader rath yatra shiv mandir er sammukhe theke shuru hoyechilo shiv mandir samne theke shuru hoyechilo ya ya sada sar hala yashoda sar hala lala bala So Yashoda said, "No, no, my little Lala will get frightened by seeing you." Yashoda ma bolle na na, amar chotto bacha dhon, toma ke dekhe bhai pe jabe. Chotto Lala, pe jabe, bhai pe jabe. Chinta chal bade, Krishna aur chalu bade khacha na. কিন্তু তারপর কৃষ্ণ বাচ্চা রূপে তিনি খাচ্ছেন না দেন কৃষ্ণ তখন অন্যান্য মহিলারা তারা সুপারিশ করছিল যে হয়তো এই সাধুর কাছে অপরাধ হয়েছে then the other ladies they suggested that maybe uh, there has been an offense with, with this uh, saintly person and then she called the lord shiva that was in the form of a sadhu so then she called for lord shiva who by then he was in the form of a sadhu takantini shiv thakur ke daklen jini sadhur beshe chilen and she wanted to give him some chapatis so and she wanted to give him some chapatis ebong tokhon jashoda ma take kichu chapati dite cheyechilen roti dite cheyechilen but he said i want to take the rod and of the water you every day you bathe are you ready so he said i'll give you the water i can drink it so he said that i want the remnant water in the every day that you bathe your baby give me that remnant water i want to drink that remnant water kintu shiv thakur bollen je tumi prottek din tomar shishu ke snan karo sei snaner obosishto jol amake kichu dao ami sei jol pan korbo haribo 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 so right i tied that in the class here so anyway it's the time to end the class here jai hok ekhon samoy hoyeche ekhane class e bisram dite hobe today ro actually uh so i yes i don't know they do now yes they have Take turns reading the Krishna Lord. Try to finish the whole Krishna Lord by midnight. So I don't know whether they are doing it now or not. They used to read Krishna book and they try to read finish the Krishna book by the mid by the night. So I am not sure if it is the same day or not. But in the previous day, 
আমরা সব একে অপরে পালা করে করে আমরা পুরো কৃষ্ণ বই পড়তাম এবং মধ্যরাতের আগে পুরো কৃষ্ণ বই এইভাবে পাঠ করে সম্পূর্ণ করতাম যাই হোক আমরা চেষ্টা করব আজকে সারা দিন কৃষ্ণ চিন্তন কৃষ্ণ চিন্তন করার জন্য এবং সেই সাথে প্রত্যেক দিন আমরা কৃষ্ণ চিন্তন করব কিন্তু আজ হচ্ছে একটি বিশেষ দিন তাই আমি এখানে বিশ্রাম দিচ্ছি जय निशिंह श्रीनिशिंह जय 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 श्रीनिशिंह जय जय श्री श्रीमद जय पताका स्वामी गुरु महाराज की जय भगवान श्री कृष्ण चंद्र बाली भक्त चूरी लगन गा